Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with chapter 10 circles, exercise 10.6, question number 5. So I'm reading out the question for you. Prove that the circle drawn with any side of a rhombus as the diameter passes through the point of intersection of its diagonals. So we are here we have quadrilateral ABCD which is a rhombus and using any side, so I'm taking side DC of this rhombus as the diameter for this circle. Okay, so DC is the diameter for this circle and diagonals AC and BD intersect at point O. I need to prove that, see I have just drawn the diagram but it doesn't mean that O lies on the circumference of the circle. I need to prove that O lies on the circumference of the circle. So very simple proof, I have CD as the diameter of the circle. So this section here, CD and, and this curved section here is making a semicircle. Therefore, CD is going to subtend a right angle at the semicircle. And also what do we know about a rhombus? That the diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So you have CD uh, subtending a right angle, right angle out here and all these angles are also right angles because the diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So clearly you can say that O lies on the circumference of the circle because CD is subtending a right angle and all these angles at the diagonals are right angles. So let's go ahead and write the proof. So my proof, CD is the diameter of the circle and therefore CD subtends a right angle at the circumference. Let's mark this as 1. Also, diagonals of a rhombus are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So for my rhombus ABCD, diagonals AC and BD intersect at point O, correct? Therefore, each angle at point O is going to be a right angle. Therefore, angle AOB is equal to angle BOC is equal to angle COD which is equal to angle DOA which is equal to 90 degrees because they are perpendicular bisectors of each other. So, let's mark this as 2. So, now if you notice you have CD. So, this is your C, this is your D, this is your circumference. CD is obtaining a right angle at the circumference. Okay. Now CD, you need to find what point is this? Is question mark. If you notice, you have the end point C and D over here. COD is a right angle. Therefore, this point here will be O. This angle is 90 degrees. Therefore, from 1 and 2, what do you get? That angle COD is subtending. CD is subtending right angle. What is the right angle? COD at the circumference. Therefore, CD subtends right angle COD. So here the point, the angle COD and the point O is very important at the circumference from 1 and 2. Right? Therefore now since CD is subtending a right angle at the circumference, obviously Point O lies on the circumference or on the circle, right? So this was about your proof. Please take a look. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.